Hello students, welcome to Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 12, Domain Name System. Content of this video is what is DNS and what is IP address. DNS, Domain Name System, is an internet service that translates domain name into IP address. So, what is a domain name? See here www.tnschools.gov.in This is the domain name and the IP address is 35.173.69.207 So we are going to learn what is this number and what is this name What is the link between the two and what is the necessity Okay So IP address is used to identify used to uniquely identify a computer over the network as we know, network is a collection of computers. So, IP address is used to identify each computer in a network. Domain name is a symbolic name associated with an IP address. That means, a computer is identified by a number and there is a procedure to form this number. But, this number will be very difficult for the user, those who are using the network. So, so make it simple this domain name system is giving a name to this IP address so how this IP address is formed and how this DNS is formed that's what you are going to learn in this lesson that means in the chapter 12 let's see an overview of DNS for communication to take place the information should pass through seven layers. As we know, TCPS IP layer is having uh, four layers, and the OSI model has seven layers. But all the both of the model is having a application layer. Application layer is one among the seven layers. There are several applications in the application layer and DNS. This is one of that. Internet is based on IP addresses, not domain names. So, for the internal connection, it knows only the IP address. But what about this domain name? This is for the users. But it is easy to use domain name to refer them rather than the long numbers, that is IP address. To enable the use of domain names in the network, the domain name system is used. That is, there are seven layers for the communication. First point, among the seven layers, communication layer, uh, in the communication layer, there are many communication, many applications. So, one of that is DNS. What is DNS? Domain name system, which is going to give a name for an IP address. What is the IP address? It is the number identify a computer in a network. So, what is IP address? Internet protocol address is simply the logical address in the network layer of a computer. Like how the door number, flat number is used to differentiate individual houses from others in the same apartment, IP address is also used to find the host system in the whole network. So without this IP address, we cannot communicate between the computers. We can simply say that network is a collection of computer, but how to communicate from one computer to another computer? We need an address, that is the IP address, it is a number. And there is a procedure for giving the number to that particular computer. Due to increase the number of system in a network, there is a need of more addresses which lead to two addressing methods. One is IPv4, another one is IPv6. Now we will see what is IPv4 address. It is a 32 bit unique address of a computer system. So what is 32 bit? You know bit first we are going to see IPv4 address. So, it is a 32 bit unique address and no two system can have same IP address. If the network has P connections, then P address should be there. That means if the network is having 100 computers, then we need 100 address 
to identify the computer in that particular network. An address space is total number of address. What is the address space? Is the total number of addresses that can be made by that protocol. It is determined by number of bits that the protocol use. If the protocol use n bits, then the address space of the protocol would be n to the two to the power n address. So the number of addresses that can be formed in IP four V four is two to the power thirty two. There are two ways to represent the IP address. So I'll repeat the points. First point, it is a IP IP V four is a thirty two bit unique address. That means. In a, if a network is having p number of network uh, computers, then we need p number of address. That is, if it is hundred computers, we need hundred address. So this address is formed based on the address space. So what is address space? Is the total number of address that can be made by the protocol. So it can be made by two to the power n. As it is thirty two bit, we can have Two to the power thirty-two number of address. Then there is two ways to represent. So what is that? One is binary notation. Another one is dotted decimal notation. So in binary notation, the address is expressed in thirty-two bit binary values. See here, we have given a number. Here in dotted decimal notation, the address is written in decimal format, separated by dots. Then see here, one twenty-eight dot, one forty-three dot, one thirty-seven dot, one forty-four. This one twenty-eight is given in binary. Again, one forty-three is given in binary, and one thirty-seven is given in binary, and one forty-four is given in binary. So. The important points are: it's a it's a 32 bit, and it can form 2 to the power n address, and it of two types. One is binary, another one is decimal notation. Then what about IP IPv6 address? Here it is 128 bit. That is 32. Here it is 128. The number of addresses. That can be formed in IPv6 is 2 to the power 128 address, and the 128 bits are divided into 8 16 blocks. So next point is 128 is divided into 8 16 bit blocks. Each block is then changed into four digit decimal numbers separated by colon symbol. Do you remember the Hexadecimal. What you have learned in the eleventh standard. Here they are given a example number. If it is one twenty-eight bit address, then it is having divisions like eight sixteen bit. One two three four. Here one two three four. So this first four block is network prefix. And the last four block is host number. The, so this is the format how they are forming the IP address of a computer in a particular network. So we have learned what is IPv6 and IPv4. That's all for this session, children. Thank you. Have a good day.